there are several uh, uh, databases are there, uh, just like uh, Web of Science, Scopus, PubMed, Google Scholar, Diamonds, and many others. And more specifically, we have uh, we have seen the Web of Science and Scopus are more uh, say like uh, this is a good source of data, and uh, where we can found a long uh, time span data as well as a good quality of data. How can you? get the data or refine data. I can say like it's refined data. So for that, you need to know your subject area and more specifically, the keywords. Uh, until you choose or pick your keywords, perfect or refined keywords, uh, you can't, uh, you did not able to conduct a good bibliometric before. So you should first select your keywords, very specific keywords in your subject area, in any any domain of research, and then refine it. Further, uh, you can uh, narrow down the uh, narrow down the data set for more specific result, and then finalize and then analyze this part. Now our target is to how can we search from Scopus and as well as for from web of science data. So, uh, in case of Scopus, uh, we simply search on uh, the Google, right? Scopus, the subscription is needed to access the data. So, simply click on first Scopus site, official website, and then you will see this interface of Scopus. This is already linked. Then you can see the search boxes. Put your keywords into search documents and simply search it. But here you should know how you put, how can you put your keywords that data will uh, be perfect or uh, here some of principles or some of uh, system is there to get the data. I can show you just like if you see the search within what you want to search or, or, or what type of data you needed. You can see if you want all kind of data like all fields uh, here uh, listed the fields like uh, article, abstract, keywords, and who are the past author and affiliation and all these things. You can get this data from the last uh, search query. But here you should pick the article title, abstract, and keyword. This is the main, uh, main format uh, where your keyword will be matched, right? Then you put your Keywords like uh, I have put it the most recent and most important topic in research domain climate change and related result of climate change that is flood and drop. I want to review or I want to analyze what kind of research has been done uh, for climate change by the effect of climate change, what is the status of flood and drought? That means climate change is a broad theme. And after that, within that climate change, many, many effects are there or many consequences are there, but I have picked it two things only. One is flood and drought. Means I want to explore the flood and drought condition with the effect of or by the effect of, or from the effect of climate change, right? In this case, I have put it and or. Two words I have put it, two code I have put it, and you can see each of uh, keywords I have put, um, I have uh, I have make it in double invited comes, uh, quotation, within double invited quotation. So first you can see the climate change, this is the broad theme, and after that, I have joined and and 
or and means climate change i want to pick the articles where climate change and flood either flood or either drought is there that means the topic of my interest is i want to pick flood and drought with the effect of climate change remember one thing you should put within the double quotation of each keyword and you should make it in the and and or quotation okay then simply search it and you will find a huge number of documents you can see here i found 50 more than 50000 of documents are related to climate change and more specifically the sub theme is flood and drought after that you can see in the left side of my screen that is subject area documents type and uh, source style uh, source title uh, publication stage keywords and affiliation funding country and language and these are the things some of things okay so what I am trying to state you that you can limit your search. How can you limit? Just I want to take those articles which is concerned to subject area of environmental science. You can see the uh, subject area within environmental science that there, there is uh, 26, around 26 thousand of uh, number of articles are in environmental side. If I want to go with agriculture, I can go or any other uh, specific subject area, but I have chosen all the subject area because my focus is to find what kind of effect is uh, on flood and drought due to climate change, right? You can choose the document type as well. I want to take only original articles. Okay, if you want to only um, only only take um, uh, review article, you can make it. And if you want to book or book chapter, conference paper, any any of it. Okay, then you can see if you want to take uh, language, most important. Mostly, what people are want those article are written in English language, right? So you can choose that one as well. I want to pick only those articles are in English language. You can limit to it. Fine. How can you limit? See, if I click on all, the number is 50,000. How can we limit? See, I want to take only article original article. So I, I pick or I clicked on only article, then you can see the number. Then you click on limit to see the number. 37,000, 50,000 to 37,000. Accordingly, you can pick your articles or you can, uh, you can uh, uh, screen your data or you can narrow down your data from a large database with this kind of steps following. And after that, you can uh, remove your duplication and those things are there. I want to get all the data, right? So 50,000. <clears> but uh, after that, you should click on export and that will show you in which format you want to get the data. The format is very much important for you to analyze the data or to to, to, to screening, uh, to complete this process of screening as well. So uh, there are uh, several uh, uh, formatting as there, CSV is there, uh, RIS, BibTeX, PlainTeX, and uh, reference managing system, um, uh, types is there. So I am to take BibTeX. I am to take BibTeX one. And I also want to take CSV1. 
csv on is one of my favorite because i can uh, i can take the data in csv excel file and i can screen the data within the csv file so and pptex will help you in processing with r r software or you can get only one either csv or either in pptex okay let's see if you click on that so either csp or either uh, bip takes you will see the range data range you can get the data or you can download the data at a uh, one time maximum 20000 number so remaining remaining you will get after getting first 20000 you can put here the number 1 to 20000 20,000 to 40,000 or 21, um, 20,000, 1 to 40,000 and 42 remaining others. Okay. So in this way, you can get the data one by one. And you can merge it after that in one file. Before that, you, you should click on all these things. But I put it down. That citation information I have dated for uh, for performance analysis and social uh, networking site analysis and all these things. Bibliographical information is also needed for bibliographic coupling and co-citation analysis all and for others. And I also need the abstract and keyword for screening and for thematic analysis. And funding details, if you need it, you can get, but I have not interested with finding letters and you can uh, include the reference for the bibliography in this way you can export your data it will be downloaded on paper if you have any query you can ask me in this uh, search part in scopus you have written this uh, syntax double inverted comma uh, double invert inverted marks climate change and then yeah. end Again, inverted mark of flood, capital R, and then inverted mark drought. Should we follow the same syntax over here? If there are what if there are some six or seven more words? Ah, you 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 first choose your broad theme. After okay. that, you put and and sequentially you put your sub themes. For sub theme, you put or fine. Okay. I want to take those articles which is written on climate change, but more specifically flood and or dot. Again, if one more word is there, again, we'll have to put capital R. Uh -huh. yeah. Right, in this way. If you want to put uh, before and, uh, you can add or, I, I want to climate change and environmental degradation. For yeah. that, climate change or environmental degradation and flood or drought. So you will have to differentiate uh, main theme with sub theme. Yeah, main theme and sub theme. With the word and. Okay. To be in capital only. Yeah. Fine, thank you. Any uh, other participant? So she is bothered about this. Uh, Achha, uh, limit set, okay. Okay, okay, fine. See. Look, in the left side, in my search uh, interface, I want to choose or I want to get the data which is original article, which is written for original article. I don't want to take review, book chapter, conference paper, or book, anything else. I want to take only original articles. That, that's why I have clicked on original article, and after that, I have clicked on limit to clear. If you if you click on limit to the data will be reduced. 